Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV. We're here in New Orleans at the International Workboat Show. We're very pleased to be joined by Brian Freind, the president of Pearlson Shiplift, to discuss an exciting new project that they have going on with BAA Jacksonville. Now, why don't you just tell us a little bit about the system that you're currently working on? Sure. So this, um, this, it's 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 been a it's been a, a great relationship we've had with BAA for the past six years. Um, it actually started with uh, Pearlson and Pearlson as the design consultancy company designing the entire infrastructure, uh, the buildings, the water, the security, the NAVC certification, and then uh, the ship lift actually came in right around the middle towards the end of, uh, of, their, of their project. And it's going to be the largest ship lift in the Americas. Um, it's going to it's just going to transform the entire market, um, especially in the U.S., um, because a lot of the other infrastructure that's out there, uh, graving docks and floaters, um, they're they're getting old, and a lot of them are built from World War II uh, time. This ship lift is going to be state of the art. Um, it's going to be able to have multiple boats on land. Um, it's going to transform not just the industry, but BAE Jacksonville specifically. Um, and uh, we're quite excited to see the to, to see what it's going to end up looking like in, in 2025. We're here now with Paul Smith, the president of BA Systems Ship Repair. And Paul, I appreciate your time today. You right. know, it's it's an exciting time. We're here down at the Workboat Show. I know you just gave an announcement mm -hmm. updating the Pearlson Ship Lift project down right. in Jacksonville. So to start us off, can you just give me a quick overview of the project, where it's at today, um, and just discuss the investment? Great. Uh, first of all, Workboat Show, this is a great show. Get to see a ton of customers and suppliers really enjoy being here. Uh, at the announcement, we were able to give an update that our $200 million ship lift project uh, we're a year into it. We started it a year ago, broke ground. Uh, we're on time and on budget. We're going to be ready to go in April of 2025. And it's going to augment our current shipyard in that we're going to be able to increase our capacity 300%. Uh, we're going to be able to dock a number of ships for the U.S. Navy, dock a number of ships commercially, uh, and it really increases our capacity to get ships out of the water. In addition to that, the ship lift uh, is a very quick operation to get it out of the water. Uh, the cost to operate is something that we see as very competitive and safe. And overall, it's been a great construction project for us, and we're looking forward to opening it in April of 2025. Okay, no, I appreciate that. Can, can you dig a bit deeper into the magnitude of efficiency that's going to bring? Because I know uh, being efficient in a shipyard is analogous right. to making money. Um, and from, from an efficiency standpoint, um, or from a capability standpoint, can you really discuss, you know, sure. you do this much today, you'll be able to do this much more when this is fully operational? Sure. So first of all, capability. So right now we have a large floating dry dock, and I think of that a lot of times as one and done. Once you get the ship up in the dry dock, you have to finish that ship mm -hmm. or get it to a certain state of completion before you can get it off the dock and back on. A lot of times in repair, whether it's with the Navy or commercial vessels, a lot of times you run into some unexpected things, uh, whether it's delay of material, you're fine, things. so there can be delays. So your ability uh, head to tail to line up the ships can be interrupted and that cycle time can increase. So one of the big capabilities of the ship lift is once you get it out of the water with the ship lift and it goes on the land level facility, you can effectively move the ships around uh, to any position you want while you're still working on it. So you don't have that situation where you're one and done in a floating dry dock and you have to, you might be in a holding position and you have to wait until you're done in the floating dry dock to get it back out. You know, similar sit situation with our other docks down there. We have an old school 4K railway where you pull the ship up. Uh, you can do a side transfer, but similar situation where it's much harder uh, to be able to accommodate different schedules, different cycle times. And in this case, we can totally mix and match. Uh, in the case of timing, we can get a ship out of the water in about one and a half hours, two hours, instead of a six, eight hour evolution. Uh, and again, that really speaks to the ability to get a ship in and out quickly and not really be beholden to one and done in a dry dock.